It's the Lawrence Welk Show. And here's your host, Lawrence Welk. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, my good audience. Greetings, and welcome to our special St. Patrick's Day show. You know, the Irish and the Germans have always had such a good relationship. We decided to do an Irish show for you. Yes, indeed, it's a great day for the Irish. One, two, three. Uh. Feeney. If you ever go across the sea to Ireland, then maybe at the closing of your day, you will sit and watch the moon rise over Clada and see the sun go down on Galway Bay. Just to hear again the ripple of the trout stream The women in the meadows making hay And to sit beside a turf fire in a cabin And watch the barefoot gossips at their play For the breeze is blowing o'er the seas from Ireland are perfumed by the heather as they blow and the women in the upland of digging praties speak a language that the strangers do not know for the strangers came and tried to teach us their ways they scorned us just for being what we are but they might as well go chasing after moonbeams for light a penny candle from a star. And if there is going to be a life hereafter, and somehow I'm sure I will ask my God to let me make my heaven in that dear land across the
Didn't that show Feeny did sing that wonderful? Ladies and gentlemen, song title like Begora means just one thing, music with a happy Irish lilt. Paul Humphrey, give us that beat. My name is Tom Netherton, and tonight, for our St. Patrick's Day celebration, I'd like to sing for you an old Irish ballad, and here's Bob Ralston. In Dublin's fair city, where the girls are so pretty, it was there that I first met sweet Molly Malone. She drove a wheelbarrow through streets broad and narrow, Crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh. She was a fishmonger, and that was no wonder. Her father and mother were fishmongers, too. They drove wheelbarrows through streets broad and narrow. Crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh. Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. She died of a fever and nothing could save her, and that was the end of sweet Molly Malone. Now her ghost drives a barrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels. Alive, alive, oh. Tom Netherton, Bob Ralts, and a couple of good Irishmen. I'm sure every Irishman will approve of this color scheme, Green Green, by the Aldrich Sisters and the Otwell Twins. Don't 
down, I just gotta be a traveling off. Green, 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 they say on the far side of the hill. Green, green, I'm going away to where the grass is greener still. Now there ain't nobody in this whole wide world gonna tell me how to spend my time. I'm just a good loving man. People. With a name like Sullivan, you just know this next young lady feels right at home this evening. Kathy, you're on. Did your mother come from Ireland? Cause there's something in you, Irish. Can you tell? Cause that bit of Irish broke you can't disguise Oh, I wouldn't be romancing I can almost see a dancer With a carry piper's play Sure, and maybe we'll be sharing In the shamrock you'll be wearing On the next And that bit of Irish steals my heart away. Did your mother come from Ireland? Cause there's something in you, Irish. And that bit of Irish lullaby seems quite fitting for Guy and Rolna, the proud parents of a lovely, lovely year-old daughter. Over in Killarney, many years ago, me mother sang this song to me in tones so sweet and just a simple little ditty In a good old Irish way And I'd give the world If she could sing That song to me this day Hush now, 
familiar Irish melody played in typical champagne style. Boys, let's have a very, very nice beat. A one and two and... song isn't Irish, but I'm sure everyone will find it most enjoyable, especially since the singer is our own champagne lady, Norma Zimmer. On every tree there sits a bird singing the song of love. On every tree there sits a bird and everyone I could break my heart without a word singing a song of love a song of love is a sad song I live I live Yes. 
Happy Norwegian, Myron Florin, does with a typical Irish tune. Here's one titled, Dancing the Devil Away. <laughs> What do you have for this Irish show? Yes, Lawrence, I'd like to do a song by George M. Cowhan. No, it's Cohan. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you better be sorry. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you forgive me for singing this song with a southern accent. H-A-R-R-I-G-A-N spells Harrigan. Proud of all the Irish blood that's in him. Devil a man can say a word again him. H A double R I G A N U C is a name that a shame never has been connected with. Harrigan, that's him. Who is the man who will spend or will ever lend? your friend when you find that you need a friend Harrigan that's who who is the man helps a man every time he can Harrigan that's who H A double R I G A N spells Harrigan proud of all the Irish blood that's in him devil a man can say a word again Connected with Harrigan, Harrigan, that's he. Very nice, Ava. 
Welcome. Our St. Patrick's show certainly calls for some lively Irish dancing. Barb and Bobby give us a traditional Irish reel. I think you folks will have fun with Ken Dilo and his friends. Now Clancy was a peaceful man, if you know what I mean. The cops picked up pieces after Clancy left the scene. He never looked for trouble, that's a fact you can assume. But nevertheless, when trouble would press, Clancy lowered the boot. Oh, the Clancy! Oh, the Clancy! Whenever they got his Irish up, Clancy lowered the boot. a fighting man, they all knew he was tough. He'd strut around the neighborhood, a shooting off his guff. He picked a fight with Clancy then, and there he sealed his doom. Before you could shout, oh, let me look out, Clancy lowered the boom. Oh, the Clancy, oh, the Clancy. Whenever they got his Irish up, Clancy lowered the boom. boom, boom. He left the barber shop with tonic in his hair. He walked into the pool room and he found O'Reilly there. O'Reilly said, For goodness sakes, now do I smell perfume? Before you can stack your cue in the rack, Clancy lowered the boom. Oh, the Clancy, oh, the Clancy. Whenever they got his Irish up, Clancy lowered the boom. Clancy lowered the boom. Let's see how this Irish song fits our champagne style. Dance around a stack of barley. Gentlemen, a one and two and...
please, Bob. Cut it out, please. Young lady, could I see you and your partner, please? Your partner? Oh, there he is, uh-huh. We want to do one more number, one more course, fellas. You lead the band. You wanted to come up and lead the band so bad, and you were so bashful. So you lead the band. I'll help you a little bit. I'll dance with you. OK, boys, are you ready? A one and two and a in all of us. So here's a cordial welcome for Mary Lou and Jack. Irish stew, perfect for St. Patty's Day. Ah, you do have imagination. Ah, we're open for business. It's true. If you're Irish, come into the parlor. There's a welcome here for you. Now, if your name is Timothy, my Pat. So long as you come from Ireland, Connie. And 
up in heaven when you reach the pearly gate. You are just a mortal man, they're sure to make you wait. And when they're looking your record up, you've got to wait outside. But if you are an Irish man, the gates will open wide. Now whether it's Killarney or from good old Donegal, it makes no difference where he's from at all. Gentlemen, we're so very, very fortunate to have this excellent musician with us. We're going to feature Bob Ralston right now with How Are Things in Clackamora. You folks will remember the dancing Irishman Pat Rooney and his famous waltz clock. Arthur Duncan gives it his own special treatment. Duncan in the mood for our Irish show. Earlier you heard Bob Ralston at the piano. Well, as you know, he's also a great organist. So let's feature Bob now at the organ 
And you'll also hear the voice of Jimmy Roberts. Bob? trio and our little band always seem to have a good time and this St. Patrick's Day party is no exception. Let's join them. I'm looking over a fall leaf clover that I overlooked before. One leaf is sunshine, the second is rain. Third is the roses that bloom in the lane. No Need explaining the one remaining is somebody I adore. I'm looking over a fall leaf clover that I overlooked before. And here are the girls.
So long now. Have a nice week.